Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Do you really need to spend a lot on a tennis racket to play well? Stay tuned. All right, so, oh, it looks like Wishlist. Wishlist sponsor of today is Guy. So Guy wants <laughs> wants Dan back, I guess. So he's hooked us up um, with a donation for uh, the uh, Bayardo Tune Pro. And uh, Guy, I guess Guy misses Dan a little bit, so as do I. Um, so if you want to be our wish list sponsor, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. And uh, maybe we could bring Dan back one of these days. I, I, don't, I think he's pretty sad right now. Um, if you want to just, you know, hook us up and don't worry about the wish list or the coffee, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you guys so, so much. Yeah, thank you, guy. Thank you. All right, guys. So a lot of people have asked me, um, do you really need to spend a lot of money on a tennis racket to play well? Well, I mean, I, I picked up this racket at the local big box store. Um, it's called a Wilson Tour Slam Light. Uh, it was like 30 bucks. It's a, it's 113 square inches. It's got kind of a power bridge system over here. It's made out of aluminum. Um, it's a 16 by 19 pattern. As you can see, it's pretty wide open there. Um, I mean, it doesn't look horrible. It's it's a little longer than a regular racket. Hey, coach. What's up, Barry? What you got there today? Oh, just wanted to try out the new whiteout, and then obviously got my blackout with some new strings in there. So I want to test it out with you. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. All right. Um, what you got there, coach? Oh well, I mean, if we're gonna test out your rackets today, I thought we'd just test out my rackets today. What do, what do you think? Sure, coach. If you want that perfect coach or partner who is a racket junkie just like you, Play Your Court is the place. They have over 27,000 players for you to choose from. It's all at playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin. It's about 10.3 ounces with the strings on, all in all. So as I've told you guys in the past, most racket companies, when they try to cater to the masses, they try to stay in that 10 to 10.2, 10 10.3 um, weight. And this is no different. Uh, this actually feels pretty good in the hand. There is weight coming through. I mean, they've pretty much crafted this with um, some technology, as you can see with the big grommets here, which is going to help us with a little bit of power. And yeah, I mean, got synthetic based nylon strings in here, got a pretty decent grip um, here. This is a four and four and a quarter, four and yeah, four and a quarter. Actually, no, it's a four and three eighths made in China. Four and three eighths, guys. Sorry. Four and three eighths made in China. Um, I mean, let's let's bring it out to uh, some pros and see if, uh, you know, do you if they really need a good racket to play with. I mean, can they do it in a pinch? Let's see. All right. See you on the court.
Alright guys, so we just got off the court and I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this racket. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Coach Rob first since he's uh, he's got the Mr. mic. Mr. Wilson. Yeah, Mr. Wilson. You played very well with it. So here's the question, Coach Rob. Do you really need to spend a lot of money on a racket to play well with it? Um, you know, that's a good question, Harry. I would say if you have um, played enough tennis and you can find the sweet spot, um, you know, it, it was fine for rallying. You know, Jared and I hit it well together. Um, a lot of it was he was able to put the ball where I could hit it back and I was able to put it to him where he could hit it back. Um, so, you know, you, you just have to have good strokes. And if you have good strokes... Um, you can pretty much use any racket as long as you can watch the ball and find the sweet spot. Um, it becomes personal preference kind of more or less after that. Mm -hmm. Now, but let's say a beginner, an intermediate, had nothing else to play with and went to their their local um, big box store. Yeah, and, that's great. And, and said, hey, this is all they got. Great. You're, you're probably going to get it at a decent price and it's going to be able to get you out and let you start hitting and playing. And then as you get better, um, you may want to then invest more into the sport. Mm -hmm. and you may want to change your equipment. Uh, but to get started, it was great. Okay. You know, because usually when you're getting started, you're not sure if you're really into it. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to want to invest a lot of money right off the first go. Right. Um, so finding something, you know, affordable. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. So. Coach Jared actually said he liked it, and he actually had an experience last year uh, with a racket very similar to this. Um, tell us about that, Coach. Yeah, so with this racket, I think um, it wasn't bad. I mean, it does the for my, my, my comparison to this is kind of like, think about it like a pair of knockoff headphones, right? So it's like, it will do the basic stuff, um, but when you're looking for, I guess, that premium quality, this won't quite give it to you but it does the basics and yeah so last year i was hitting with a friend that uh doesn't play tennis too often he kind of had one of these kind of store-bought rackets and i was actually surprised at how solid the racket kind of felt i was kind of thinking that it wasn't going to be again something i could hit with and i thought i'd hit the hit the net on every single shot um, but similar to today i think uh this wilson frame that we got from from the store i think it kind of just did the job um if you're looking for Again, a starting point of a racket and don't want to put too much money into it. Like what Coach Rob said, this is definitely a perfect option. But at some point, I do feel like, again, when you get to the point when you're trying to play some higher level tennis, unfortunately, I don't think this will hit the mark. But if you're getting into tennis and, again, looking for something that's not super expensive, you can definitely give this one a shot. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I, I like you guys, was not expecting a whole lot. I, I felt like... I wasn't going to get any power. I wasn't going to get any spin. I wasn't going to get any control. That, I mean, I, I feel like most rackets, the companies, they emphasize those three things. And, you know, with a big box store racket like this, I mean, you, you don't expect a whole lot. And it was surprising. I mean, I saw you guys hitting with it, and I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. And then when I hit with it, I was like, that ain't bad. You know, it actually does the job. If, if let's say we went on vacation and I didn't bring a racket and I needed to just get one, I think I can get a, get some doubles in with this. I can probably do okay in singles with this. Um, I, I mean, it it works and it it's a tennis racket. They actually designed this pretty well that it does provide you with the power. Because it's got the power bridge right here. <laughs> and it's got the big grommets right here. <laughs> nice. No head guard, though, I just noticed. Oh. I don't think that was getting restrung a whole lot. <laughs> right. So, but, but yeah, no, I, I thought they designed it where it's a little on the he head heavier side, and it plowed through really well. So it does help the, you know, regular tennis player just finish up. And surprisingly, enough power. 
I had good good pop and uh, decent amount of feel for a, for a store bought rack. For what it is, yeah. yeah, totally. So definitely serviceable, usable. You know what, Rob? I think you and I should probably play, um, I guess, tiebreaker or something where maybe I'll use this one. And, right. and, that would be great, Harry. Then, uh, That'd be a lot of fun. And then, I, and then I'll I'll see I'll see if I I'll eat my words <laughs> on it. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. So we'll try that in one of these upcoming episodes. Um, Coach Jared, where can they find you, bud? You guys can find me on Instagram at Mod Tennis. All right, Coach Rob, thank you so much, as always, for hanging out with us uh, and playing with Wilson Cheap Racket. Wilson, here you hold it <laughs> guys thank you for watching tennis spin where we put our spin on your tennis